In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to add vertical asymptotes when writing an equation of a rational function. First, when looking at and creating equations of rational functions, the vertical asymptotes are found in the denominator. Each factor in the denominator represents a different vertical asymptote. The most basic example is the following, 1 over x, which has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. If the rational function you are writing an equation for has one vertical asymptote at x equals 0, you're done. It's 1 over x. But if it has one vertical asymptote at a different location, we can add or subtract appropriately. Think horizontal translation. Here, we have two rational functions with vertical asymptotes not at x equals 0. We had to move the vertical asymptote to the left and subtract to move it to the right. For the first graph, we see that the vertical asymptote is at x equals 3. Therefore, when writing the equation, we subtract 3 from x. For the second example, we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. When writing the equation, we add 2 to x. Now that we've learned how to write the location of a single asymptote, let's add another. We are going to write an equation with a vertical asymptote at x equals 0 and x equals 3. First, we can begin the equation with 1 over x. This has the asymptote at x equals 0. Next, we add another factor to the denominator of x minus 3 for the second asymptote. There is no limit to the number of vertical asymptotes that we can have. Just add another factor in the denominator for each one. Take a look at the following three examples. Create equations for each based off the vertical asymptotes. Pause the video, and when you're ready, press play to check your answers. Let's take a look. For the first example, we see an asymptote at x equals negative 5 and x equals 3. This will give us two factors in the denominator, x plus 5 and x minus 3. In the next example, it states that there are vertical asymptotes at x equals 0, 1, and 3. Therefore, we write x for the asymptote at x equals 0, followed by factors of x minus 1 and x minus 3 for the next two asymptotes. Finally, in this last example, we see there is a single asymptote at x equals 2.5. Therefore, we write our factor as 2x minus 5. A quick refresher, if our asymptote is at x equals 2.5, this is the same as writing 5 over 2, so x equals 5 over 2. Multiply both sides by 2 to get 2x equals 5. Subtract 5 from both sides to get 2x minus 5, which is our factor. In this lesson, you learned how to write a rational equation based on the location of the vertical asymptotes. You learned that the vertical asymptotes are written in the denominator as factors, with each factor representing a vertical asymptote and its location.